Hello, hello. Welcome back to another Python programming videos. So, I hope you are doing well and staying healthy, staying safe. And yeah, thank you for being with me today in this video. So, let's begin. Today, I would like to share a new uh, field under artificial intelligence, which is a known field called natural language processing. It's going to be a basic beginner's guide video for beginners, of course. So language processing has been around for more than 50 years. But with the development of computer science and programming, the field has grown, like with the data analytic tools and all those web scrapping and, you know, all this new uh, technology has increased the demand of natural language processing. So. I would like to share my article here on the left side, as you can see. So let's go real quick over the contents. First, I will talk about the introduction and then what is NLTK, what is BS4, and then we will start working on the project. The project uh, has five steps, as you can see. First, we will import the libraries. These are the two libraries we will use mainly. And then we will read an HTML page. I will show you the website I chose. And you can choose a different website. So it's, it's a matter of preference. And then after reading the page, we will do some data cleaning and then we will go to step four where we will do tokenization so i will talk more about it in this video and then finally data visualization so if you're ready i am ready let's begin i will uh, go through this real quick and these are some fields I shared that uh, natural language processing is being used and machine learning and artificial intelligence fields and some real applications. Google Translate, Grammarly, voice assistants like Apple Siri, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa. Other than that, we have the chatbots, which we all so on the website and then finally uh, web scrapping tool so our uh, project will be around web scrapping so this is what we will do in this project and then let's move on to the next topic <coughs> natural language toolkits so it's it's a python uh, based program a module uh, it's under nlp libraries and you can install it using pip python library management tool so this is what we will do just open up your terminal and then run pip install nltk this will install this library for you make sure you have python installed already all right next we will uh, install another module called beautiful soap and the latest version is fourth version that's why I've added the four over here and this is this library is going to help us a lot when uh, we are doing the web scrapping project and then you can learn more about it over here 
and you can read more from this referenced page. So this is how we install the library. All right, here we come to step number one. I will go through the Jupyter notebook that I opened up on the right side. So let's copy the libraries from here and then let's paste them. After pasting it, we will click on Shift Enter to run the block of code. And when the block is completed, you will see an integer. Like this is the first block that we run. That's why we see number one over there. And then we will move to the next step where we will read the page's HTML. So first thing first, let me open up the live the page that I will be using as an example. It's the Wikipedia page for natural language processing. So oops, sorry, let's see. There we go, yeah. This is the page that we will go through. So instead of reading the whole page, like each sentence, our program will do it for us. So I'll go ahead, copy this block, and then first let's get the page and then Let's read the page and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it's a long page because we are copying the whole code. Like it's not just the sentences. As you can see, the links are here, some CSS files, and the HTML markup language, opening paragraph, closing paragraph, and all these stuff. So it's a really, really raw information. That's why we will need some data cleaning, right? So here we go and define Our soul. There you go. And then let's copy this. Let's paste and then let's run. Perfect. You can check what it looks like. Just print. As you can see, the coding part is cleaned. So we just see the sentences, like clean sentences. Next step I will do is to lower case the letters, all the letters. Why do I, why do I do that? Because otherwise it's going to see the same words with different capitalization as you can see like natural and natural. But if you don't lower them, the machine is going to read them as a different words. Why? Because their ASCII values are different. Since this is a capital N and this is a lowercase n. All right, our code is ready. I'll go ahead and print the text for you. There you go. Now all our letters are lowercased looks much better all right let's move to the next 
step, which is the fourth step. All right, here is tokens. So we will use the natural language toolkit that we have imported over here. So it will help us to, to split the words, like each word as a different list item. And it's really, really cool. Let's do it. There you go. As you can see, each word is a list item right now. Beyond is a different word, individual, of, semantics. So all these are listed inside a list item. If you want to check how long is this list, let's check the length. As you can see, we have in total 4,620 words. Yeah, that's a lot of words in one page. All right, what are we doing right now? We will clean some of the words that we don't need. <coughs> For example, A of the. This kind of words are called stop words. So we will clean those because we don't need them because they don't help us in understanding the page. So it's, it's not a valuable information. That's why we will use stop words cleaning over here. Let's go ahead and let's run this line. Perfect. Now we have cleaned those stop words. Let's check how many were there. Let's check the length. Clean tokens, 3000 words. So we have cleaned almost 1500 stop words. So this is good. We have more valuable words. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. We are almost done. Step number five, data visualization. So before visualizing the data, we will do a count. What are we going to count? We will count the words. Perfect. So this is a special method by the natural language toolkit. Perfect. Now our words are counted, as you can see. This is our word, natural, quantity is 36. So we have 36 of this word. You can see the whole list. And we have lots of words as one, two, three. So these are like, these are keywords, but they don't help us a lot. So what I will do in the next step is to filter. What am I filtering? I'm filtering out the values, the, the keywords that is occurring more than 10 times. So if it's passing in the article that we just saw in this article, if the same word is passing more than 10 times, that means it's an important word. That's why I will filter those words. Let's run that. Perfect. So now our high frequency dictionary has those only the words that is occurring more than 10 times. All right. 
are you ready for the final step which is visualizing this information which is the fun part i really really like the visualization part because after all this calculations and filtering data cleaning at the end you see something really cool you see something uh, that helps you to understand the whole page without even spending any time on the page so we will have this kind of graph at the end so since uh, we are talking about uh, quantity I thought using a bar chart will be a good idea because as you can see like we know we will know how much of this specific word is occurring the frequency of the word in the article so I'm using uh, plotly which is a really really cool uh, data visualization library as you can see you can check plotly's website over here so it's used by like a lot of people a lot of uh, professionals in this field so and their charts are really like colorful cool and interactive all right let's run this code and there you go we have our chart over here do you see let me make it a little wider there you go so as you can see if you hover on each bar you will see how many times that word is passing in the article as we can understand since it's a natural language processing article we are expecting to see natural and language the most occurring ones language is 69 natural is 36 nlp 24 machine learning as you can see it's occurring 17 times systems text processing so we will understand that NLP has something to do with text processing, semantic words, input, statistical research, neural, use based. So these are the keywords that will help us to understand the page. All right. So that's that's all for this article, and thank you all. I hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned something new as i mentioned this was a introduction level project for beginners and it helps us to have some idea about how natural language processing works and this is just a little part of it but now you can practice more with different website you can try different filtering sorting skills on the project so it really depends on how and what you want to make so and if you check my medium article medium page you will find more uh, projects like face recognition extracting speech from video using python so I like to share this kind of cool projects like hands-on projects I will I will drop the link below so thank you all and that's it for this week I hope to see you next week on Sunday until then stay safe and happy programming bye guys